If you see a snake in your environment, just leave it alone. That's really the big picture here. So you don't have to go after it, you don't have to chase it. They're naturally shy, and most of them are not aggressive at all unless they're encroached upon. So if you leave a snake alone, give it some time, it's going to leave because it saw you. So just don't pursue it, leave it alone. You want to keep your backyard anywhere where kids are at around your household, particularly outside obviously. You want to keep it as short of grass as possible. You want to keep brush and things that they can hide under out of there. If you have varmints around, such as mice, you're probably going to have snakes come around. So you need to eliminate that food source. Water features, bird baths, swimming pools are known to attract them. So you have to be careful with those in particular. And then finally, just making sure that if you're at night walking through your grass, your yard, your kids are out playing, that it's very well lit, you have short grass, you just don't want to stumble upon one because that's when the interaction can occur. Yeah, great question. So the first thing is what you don't do. So we're not in the Old West anymore. We're not sucking on the snake bite, applying tourniquets, cutting into the snake bite. That is, that is all something that is not done in modern medicine. What you want to do is stay calm. You want to get the person calm on their back. You want the side of the snake bite to be at or below the level of the heart. You're going to, of course, call 911. And do not try to capture the snake either. You don't want to get into an interaction, get another person bit in the process. If you can take a photo of the bite or of the snake and do it safely, that's absolutely appropriate. Note the time, take any rings or jewelry off because swelling can occur, and then seek care at your local emergency department. Lots of snakes in Central Texas, and the vast majority of them are the non-venomous ones that we think of interacting with our environment. So brown snakes, rat snakes, king snakes, garter snakes, all normal friendly snakes. We do have two big categories of venomous snakes in Central Texas. One is the coral snake, not very mobile, not very common to bite, but that's the ones with the the red, yellow, and black markings. And then you have the family of pit vipers, which is the ones we really all know about. And that three main ones in Central Texas, the rattlesnake that we do see and hear, the copperhead, and then the water moccasin. And those are the ones when you talk about venomous snakes in the Central Texas or Texas environment, the ones we worry about.